Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So for today's video, I have my Sephora Rouge VIB Spring Sale Haul. So if you want to see what I picked up, then just keep on watching. Some of this stuff I actually bought before the sale and then I've kind of just been accumulating it because I was really sick and so I haven't really touched any of it. It's just kind of been sitting. So pretty much everything in this bag was bought pre-sale and then this was my same day delivery order that I placed yesterday that I actually got from the sale. And I do want to place one order because I really want to get the new hourglass powder. So anyways, first things first, full disclaimer, Ulta sent me a 20% off coupon and they actually just sent me another one that was good on all items, including prestige. And so the other night, uh, me and my husband were going out and I was specifically wanting this. And so they had one left at Ulta. So I did buy this at Ulta, but this is the itty bitty midi kit because, well, first of all, I love Drunk Elephant and I haven't really been using, I use their barrier cream at night, but I used to go through bottles upon bottles of the TLC glycolic night serum. And it was one thing that I absolutely loved. And then I love the Behydra because I love mixing it just like I like mixing my road peptide glaze. It's very similar in texture. And then I haven't tried their new vitamin C where you like mix it yourself. So with the 20% off, I got this. Oh, I also went because I got the new e.l.f. Power Grip Spray and I used it today and I really love the mist. It's super fine, smells good. So yeah, anyways, I did get this, but you can get this at Sephora. One thing that I, I bought the day that it launched, sorry if you can hear, we got a dog, we got a puppy. My husband got me my, my dream dog. So if you hear clicking, he's, he's walking around. But this is one thing that I had to buy the day that it launched because I was really excited about this. And I just didn't know, I didn't know if it would sell out before the sale or possibly during the sale and I just didn't want to miss it. But this is the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. This is the new one in the shade pink. And I love the packaging. I did cut it open already to make sure that when it arrived, it wasn't broken because I know that this powder is super fragile. So let me not drop it. But this is what the packaging looks like. And then it's actually super light. Like it kind of almost looks like the white one. But in person, you can see the pink tint that it has. And I used to use the white one years ago when it first released. So I don't really remember my thoughts on it. But I'm excited to try this one and revisit it. And this I actually picked up during when Ulta was doing their beauty sale. Was it 21 Days of Beauty or whatever a few weeks ago? And Sephora always matches what Ulta's doing. I picked this up. This is the Nude Sticks. I did, but I got this at Sephora because I ordered something else with it. But this is the Nude Sticks uh, Bloom, the Face Dewy Color in shade Poppy Girl. Back in 2020, if you've been with me that long and you've watched any of my makeup videos from back then, I had a mini size of this blush and I used to talk about how much I loved just adding it as a, a oh, I knew I was going to do that. That's, that's the brush side in case you didn't know. I don't ever use that, but this is what it looks like. This is the shade. And I used to love just tapping this on my cheeks with like bronzer and a skin tint. And I since decluttered that stick because I used it almost all up and also it was getting really old. But when I saw that they had it on sale, I went ahead and grabbed it because it, I got excited and wanted to retry it again. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then with that same order, this is another item that I used to rave about back when I first started my channel, 2019. I talked about this product all the time on my Instagram way back then. And then I know I wasn't wearing as much makeup in 2020. And then after that, I kind of fell off. And this was just, but this was a product that I used to rave about all the time before 2020. But it's the Perfecting Skin Tint by Glossier. I picked up the shade G7. I used to use the shade G8 and it ran a little bit pink. So I'm hoping that this'll, this'll do pretty good, but I'm excited to retry this. I haven't used it in at least three or four years. So I'm excited to retry that, especially for summer. I've been really into like 
trying to find like what really makes me excited for I love skin products so like like foundations bronzers blushes like stuff like that they just make me really excited so speaking of I don't know how you pronounce this but uh Dukes this is the lipid rich facial moisturizer this had been sold out since they launched it on Sephora and I just so happened to come across it in my store one day when I was in there so I grabbed it and I am so excited to use this because I actually use the the blue one, the one in the blue bottle. I use that during the day and it reminds me, it's very just lightweight and kind of gel-like. And this one I think is going to be really good for overnight. But also I think this is going to be a really, really good makeup primer as well. Because it reminds me of the em Embry Embryolis whatever that one that everybody, the makeup artists rave about that you can get on Amazon. I didn't like that one as much because the, first of all, the smell of it, but it felt like it kind of just sat on top of my skin and this actually like sinks in and it doesn't have that super strong floral scent. So I'm really excited to give this a shot and if you can get your hands on it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a product that's going to disappoint, that's for sure. And then the main reason I had gone to Sephora a few weeks ago when I ended up getting this was when Dior released their new filter face stuff and the maximizers. I didn't actually like the glow filter that much. I, I don't really have a reason. It felt kind of it felt kind of thick. It wasn't what I expected it to be. So I was like, I'll just stick with my Charlotte Tilbury one. But this, however. Oh my gosh, this, I really, really like. This is the Forever Glow Maximizer uh, in the shade Pearly. And now I think you're, you'd are you have to be pretty careful with this if you don't, because these can be pretty intense. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but when I, if you sheer this out, oh my goodness, it is the prettiest glittery shade. Like I love shades like this, especially like for your, if you use them on your eyes, like, I don't know. It just, it was, it was screaming my name. So there was only one left. So I had to, I had to grab it. And then another thing that I picked up that I wasn't going to pick up, I liked it online. And then when I, I, I kind of was realistic with myself and I was like, I didn't really like the application of it. But then whenever I saw it in store and swatched it and kind of played with it, I was like, okay, I think I'm really actually going to like this. If I, I can find a good method on how to apply it, I think it'll become a new favorite. But this is the glossy, glossy air cloud. Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Coast. Seamless cheap color. It's their new bronzers. Uh, yeah, I got the shade Coast and it's super cute. I've never tried their, their cloud blushes, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. It's got a little squeeze. So that's kind of what the shade is built up. It kind of looks like milk chocolate, but it, it blends out super nicely and it, it, I don't know. It wasn't what I expected it to be whenever I was kind of talking myself out of it online, but it's really nice and I'm excited to try it. So a couple things that I got free with my orders, well, they were promos, but the Burberry Her, this is a mini size because I really like this perfume, but I, I've only ever had like a teeny tiny, just a couple spray sample and I wanted to buy the full size, but I hate spending money on perfumes. And so when I saw that they had this as a promo, I was like, you know what? I can try this out for a while. This will last me a long time. And I can see if I actually really want to invest in the full size, depending on how well this sits on my skin and whatnot. So I can throw it in my bag and it's really cute. So I got that. And then I've been wanting to try the Merit, what is this called? Instant Glow Serum. But the full size is really a commitment and I just don't know. That'll last me a lifetime. So when the, I saw that this was on there, I think this may still be on there, although you can't use it in conjunction with the sale. Some of these, one of these I did a in-store pickup. And like I said, all of this is, I kind of accumulated all this stuff out of this one same bag for the last like two or three weeks. Uh, and then this is my, what I actually got during the sale. So I'm still kind of going through the bag of what I've kind of had stored away. But one of these purchases was an uh, in-store pickup and they give, I, I don't know if they do this at every store, but my store always gives something, whether it's some type of hair care or something. And this time it was the K18 Bio 
mimetic hair science is a repair mask excuse me so i got that and then i picked this up this is the kosas cloud skin trio and i used to have a mini of this and i used pretty there's a fly and it's driving me insane i pretty much used it up and then same thing i had a, i bought a mini powder last spring and so this came with the full size powder a sponge and the concealer and i always see kim lloyd on tiktok using this sponge and i i will i keep wanting it every time i see her use it so i'm excited to have this kit because you get the little sponge it's so cute it looks like a lemon drop and then you get the full size powder and i think this this kit was fairly affordable for everything that you get in it the full size powder and this is in the shade i got the set i think in shade four yeah it was the four. So I got the powder in shade comfy and then it came with the concealer in shade four in light medium, light medium with neutral yellow undertones. I have an olive undertone. So I try to go with some that can either if they don't have olive, I try to go more warm or like yellowish, I guess. But I had this shade before and it was perfect. So I was glad that all of these were shades in one kit that I could use. So I picked that up. And then this, I used to have Sole Blanc. I, I think that's the name. I really liked it and it smelled so good. But I really, I have a thing for silver. I really honestly, I lean more towards silver than gold. So this is the Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil. I don't know if this is available online. It kept saying uh, in store only or available in store only when I picked mine up and my local store had it. So that was why I placed it for in store pickup. But this is, I don't know if this one has, oh, Soleil. I don't know how to pronounce that name. But this is what this looks like. It's so pretty. And I just love, I love silver. Okay. This might sound very. Some people might not like this scent description, but this smells like mosquito spray to me, but in the best way possible, like, like expensive, nostalgic mosquito spray, like going camping as a kid and your parents douse you in this before you, like while you're down by the lake. I don't know. That's what this smells like to me, but like, it's good. And it could just be my smell because I feel like I smell things way differently than most people but I really love the scent of this. I'm not going to lie. So I'm excited to use it. And then Soleil Blanc also was really good. It just smells like sunscreen in summer. So I may end up picking up the gold one again during the summertime, but I went ahead and got this one since it was only available in my store and I couldn't get it online. So yeah, picked that up. This is something I also bought the day that it released because if you know me, you know Makeup by Morrow is like my favorite brand. But when he released this new palette, the neutrals, I had to order it because I just, it, it's Mario and I need everything that he does. So this is what this looks like. I haven't used it yet. Obviously all the stuff I've just kind of had sitting in this bag waiting to film a haul. But this, it, it's, this, this packaging is not the same as the original Master Mats. This is like a, it's like a, it doesn't, I don't know how to explain it. If you have this, then you know what I mean. It's more... It feels like a plastic metal. Like it doesn't feel as plasticky as the original, but it doesn't feel metal like the ethereal eyes either. And it, I think this just doesn't, this just magnetizes. It's not like a clasp like I think the original Master Mats is. But either way, it doesn't bother me. I don't care, but it's just something to note. So I picked that up. Okay, and then the last thing in this bag is I have had, I don't know how many of these bronzers. And I kept either returning them or selling them because I kept getting like the wrong shade. I kept going for Radiant Bronze Light because I just thought that that would be the best shade for me. But since Hourglass's powders already run kind of light anyways. But every time I used it, it looked like I had orange stripes on my face. And I was like, I know I had one of these bronzers years ago that I put in favorites videos and that I raved about. And so I was like, I could not remember what the shade was. And I always thought it was Radiant Light and it wasn't. So I went to my super old videos and I found out that the bronzer that I was using was Luminous Bronze Light. 
And so I was like, you know what? I really want that bronzer bag. So if you know Hourglass, you know that it matters what swirl you get. And so a lot of times you can get a bronzer that has a lot more of the lighter swirl, which then if, you know, especially if you're deeper skin toned, can just kind of more look like a, a light powder. But this is what my swirl looks like. And this is absolutely beautiful. I wore this on my my son's third birthday party a few weeks ago. And this is as pretty as I remember. And especially if you don't have any makeup on and you just put this over like a skin tint or uh, like just your moisturizer with a little bit of concealer, this is so pretty. And I would highly recommend this to anybody. Uh, just, just swatch the shades because to me they pull really weird. And this is just, I, I would have thought that this wouldn't be super good for me, but when I build it up, it's beautiful. It's exactly like I remember. And I'm glad that I finally figured out that I was just getting the wrong shade all this time because I really did love this bronzer. So once again, that's Luminous Bronze Light and I'm super happy to have it back. A couple things that are in this bag from what I actually picked up for using the discount. Uh, once again, I did a same day delivery order. So they put one of these in there again. So I've got another one of those. I've never used that product before. So I'm curious to see how it works. But if you also have been around for a while, you know that the, the Dior Face and Body is one of my favorite foundations. I picked this up last spring sale. My mom likes it. And so I picked up another one. And this is the new formula, which I'm curious to see how it is since I love the original one so much. But I love applying this with my fingers. And it, it's just, I don't know, it like sets itself, but it doesn't look like you've got a full cakey foundation on. And I love this for spring and summer or just super easy makeup days. But I'm hoping that the formula change doesn't, I don't typically notice that stuff too bad. But anyways, I'm rambling. I picked up the shade for Warm Olive. I love Dior for doing all their olive shades. That's that's kind of how I found out I was actually olive undertone because everything always pulled super pink or gray or way too orange and yellow. And then if I tried neutral, neutral pulled extremely, extremely gray on me. And so I felt like I was just doomed to never find my undertone. And then when I found out that olive undertones were a thing, which I didn't know about for the longest time, I don't know how or why, but then when I found out that I was olive undertoned, it changed the game for me. And now I can pretty easily pick out foundation shades and concealers just based off of that. So I'm, I'm happy for that. But I picked up four warm olive and this is what this looks like. The bottle also isn't like matte feeling like the other one. This one's more like acrylic feeling, feeling and, but the other one's more matte feeling and they changed the, this is like different looking than the other label. But yeah, so I'm super excited to give this a shot and have a fresh one of these. And then this, I made myself wait because I almost bought this on launch day two. And I was like, you know what? Just hold off. You're going to buy everything before the sale even starts. And then you ain't going to have nothing to get. So I was just glad that this didn't sell out. I wasn't sure if it would or not because, you know, TikTok can make stuff go viral overnight. And then you wake up and it's everything sold out and it's really frustrating. But this is one of the main things that I wanted to get for the sale. And this is the Gisu, Gisu, I don't know how you pronounce it, honey infused lip oil in watermelon sugar. I bought the original last year and for the first couple weeks, I genuinely really liked it and I didn't understand why the reviews were so negative. After about a month of using it, I couldn't do it. It literally felt like the, the formula changed and like it, it broke down and it was like almost greasy feeling on my lips and the smell was like cooking oil and all I could I could get past the texture but the smell of it I I absolutely could not and then I bought the glitter one from their website when it launched and then that one was kind of the same way like the glitter literally just sunk all the way to the bottom and it like separated the regular like the formula from the glitter so then the, you would have to like mix it all up and then it felt like I was just putting the cooking oil on my lips with glitter in it so my friend had bought this one and I asked her if it was different and she said it was. So it looks like it just based off of what I see in the bottle. It looks like this is thicker and the glitter is definitely not separating. So, and this also smells way better. It smells like, it smells like, like watermelon Jolly Rancher. Like it's really good. And I love the smell of watermelon. Or if you're familiar with like 
Glow Recipes Watermelon Scents. This is very similar to that as well. So I'm excited to have this. It was a very cute, fun, springy item. Okay, and then this was solely influenced by the McKnight Twins because this was not on my radar. I kind of wanted it when it first released and then I was like, talked myself out of it. And then I heard some people talking about it again and then I was kind of like, oh, I like it. And then I was like, no, it's, it's not worth the price. And then finally, I was like, you know what? What are some fun different items that I could just get for a, a quick small haul and just like not think too precisely on every single item, but what's something fun and different that you wouldn't normally buy? So this is the Gucci bronzer because Emily McKnight was talking about it in her video and I was like, okay, I'm sold. When I saw how used hers was, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to get it. So I'm really excited. I picked up shade three because it just looked like the best shade. It comes in this little soft Gucci pouch, which I would hope so. And then this is the packaging. It's real cute and makes me think of like the beach or something. And then this is shade three. And it comes with like this little brush underneath that I will probably never ever use. But it also has a very strong smell. It smells very similar to the Chanel bronzers. And then uh, it actually smells kind of similar to this foundation as well. It's just got that, that heavily perfumed like uh, kind of floral fragrance but it's not anything too bad. And I'm sure once it's it's sat on your face, you won't really smell it anymore. So yeah, I picked that up in shade three. So I'm excited to test that out. And then the last thing that once again, I almost picked it up at Ulta because it launched there first and they didn't have it in my store. So that kind of steered me away to go ahead and wait for the sale at Sephora. But this is the new Fenty Beauty Demi Glow light diffusing highlighter in the shade Prosecco. And the second that I saw Trend Mood post the swatches of this, I knew I wanted it because it just looked so 2018, like highlighter vibes to me. And I am I miss that era of makeup of everyone being so excited over highlighters and everything. So when I saw this, I was like, man, that just takes me back to like a good time in like the makeup era. So I was really excited to get this, but this is the packaging. It's really pretty. I'm sure you've seen this all over the place. I'm not sure how well it's picking up on camera, but it's got like a, like a holographic pearl type cover. And then the back is like glittery. It's really cute. And then this is what this looks like. So super pretty. I'm really excited about it. It kind of was reminding me of Champagne Pop, which I also have in my collection. Most of the time I don't wear highlighters because I wear such like glowy blah, blah, glowy blushes or bronzers that I just don't think to add highlight or I use just an hourglass ambient powder to like sweep over the top of my cheek. But I don't know, I'm kind of into this and I can just use this. A, you can never have too much glow. So I can use it with a glowy blush or bronzer or I can use it with matte products. It doesn't matter. There's no rules to make up. So anyways, with that being said, that brings me to the end of the haul. I'm so sorry uh, if I, I rambled on too long. I This was a lot of stuff to kind of get through and now I'm tired and I need to go film a Skims haul. So I probably will try to have this one up first. I just got that all over my hand. I will try to have this one up first since the sales already started yesterday for Rouge and then it should be starting soon for VIB and then, um, and then just Beauty Insider. So Anyways, I'm going to go film a Skims haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're picking up. Are you skipping this? Does the sale not interest you? Or let me know if there's anything that you picked up that you think I should try. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. Either way, it helps me out. Don't forget to go follow me on my socials. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you on my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.